Hello friends. Today we will introduce ourselves to a new subject which is known as food and nutrition. You are very much aware of the term food but what are foods, what is nutrition, what are nutrients, the different terms we will learn today through this video. To educate us, myself Mandishta Chatterjee, like, share and subscribe the channel and don't forget to put the bell icon. Now, coming to the first definition, what is nutrition? It is basically a science of foods, science of foods and other substances, their action, their balance, their uh, process of digestion, absorption, metabolism and the result of it is the production of the end products. So, as you can see, a bowl of food rich in different nutrients and different action they have in their in our diet so nutrition is the science of food and we also call nutrition as nutrition science next is what is food as you know that we take food and we gain energy we know that when we are feeling very much lethargic then we take food and we can have a good health so food is a substance basically which help us to uh, meet the energy need of our body the maintenance of health growth and reproduction now from where are we getting this food basically we are getting the food or the energy from the food from sun as we know that by photosynthesis process we can use sunlight carbon dioxide water mineral and we can help to get these products when we get this plant sugars or any food as such we take that we digest them this is the digestive system we digest them we absorb them we assimilate them and then we get all the energies we require now what are nutrients we know that we are getting energy we know that calcium is good for bone health we know that uh, fat is also good for our health good fats of course are good for health but what are these these are nutrients these nutrients are basically the chemical components which give us all the necessary things that are required by our body to support the growth and maintenance to provide energy to different to construct ourselves to produce something in our body and to carry out proper metabolism and also to give a complete nourishment to our body so these chemical components of the food are known as nutrients and nutrients are present in food so when we are having the food when we are taking the food we are getting the nutrients for all the functions of our body so nutrients basically are carbohydrate protein fat vitamin mineral and water now if we classify the types of nutrients we will have two types one is the proximate principles of food or the macronutrients under which is carbohydrate protein and fat why these are macro macro means bigger macro are because we are requiring them in good amount in bigger amount in greater amount and they are doing an important functions of function of our body so that means uh, micronutrients are not necessary for our body no they are also similarly necessary for our body they are the protective principle they are protecting the proximate principles of the macronutrients and doing the finer particles of the uh, finer particles or finer works of the body suppose if you are needing energy carbohydrate protein fat are helping us to get that energy and minerals and vitamins will help in the metabolism of carbohydrate protein fat so that we get the nutrients or the energy so types of nutrients are of two types micronutrients or macronutrients macronutrients are also known as proximate principles of food examples carbohydrate protein and fat Micronutrients are known as protective principles of food, examples vitamins and minerals. And we have another classifications which are known as non-nutrients. 
but they are extremely important for our body like the fibers the antioxidants and the foods high in polyphenol these are known as a functional food now what do we mean this by this word functional food functional food is something which help to do a proper function in our body or a particular function in our body and keep our body in a proper state of health so that's all for today